further than the earlier Hubble deep fields north and south. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field reveals the first galaxies to emerge from the so-called Dark Ages, the time shortly after the Big Bang when the first stars reheated the cold, dark universe. Just after the Big Bang, in the newborn, fast-expanding universe, before the era of the stars and galaxies, the distribution of matter was fairly smooth. As time went on, the king of all forces, gravity, started acting. Slowly, but steadily. Under the influence of gravity from the mysterious dark matter, small clumps of normal matter started to coalesce in regions where the density was slightly higher than average. With no stars to light up space, the universe was in its dark age. Where the density of the clumps became higher, even more matter was attracted and a competition between the expansion of space and gravity took place. Where gravity won, regions stopped expanding and started to collapse in on themselves. The first stars and galaxies were born. Where the matter density was highest, at the intersections between the large web-like structures of matter, the largest structures we know were formed clusters of galaxies. The deep field images are studded with a wide range of galaxies of various sizes, shapes and colours. Astronomers will spend years studying the myriad shapes of the galaxies in this image to understand how they formed and have evolved since the Big Bang. In vibrant contrast to the image's rich harvest of classic spiral and elliptical galaxies, there is also a zoo of oddball galaxies littering the field. Some look like toothpicks, others like links on a bracelet. A few appear to be interacting with each other. Their strange shapes are a far cry from the majestic spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today. These oddball galaxies chronicle a period when the universe was more chaotic, when order and structure were just beginning to emerge. One of the great things about Hubble is that there are many instruments on board that can make different observations at the same time. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field is actually two separate images taken by two instruments, Hubble's ACS camera and the NICMOS instrument. NICMOS sees even further than the ACS. It detects infrared light, and so it's able to reveal the furthest galaxies ever seen because the expanding universe has stretched and weakened the light from these objects so much that they're now only visible at infrared wavelengths. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field is likely to remain the deepest image of the universe for the next decade or so, until an ESA Ariane rocket launches the James Webb Space Telescope in 2011. Up until today, during the first 15 years of its life, Hubble has orbited the Earth 80,000 times. This is the same as three and a half billion kilometers or 24 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Hubble has taken more than 500,000 exposures of the universe and created a visual heritage that has shaped the way humanity looks at the universe today.
But Hubble's perhaps greatest legacy has been to open our eyes to the incredible beauty of nature. Not only out there in the depths of cosmos, but also everywhere around us in our daily lives. And it's nowhere finished yet. Thank you.